So I've been surfing the interwebs for two decades now. I've seen digital empires rise and kingdoms fall. I've witnessed legends go down in meme history and once great kings fade into obscurity and hatred. No matter what, the internet has always had a balanced and well-rounded reaction to every piece of news that has found its way uploaded to a social media server. Is what I would say if it were true. But instead here we sit in reality where we're in another battle of woke versus slept. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Riot just unveiled the new agent for Valorant called Clove. Clove is supposed to be a new agent that's going to be unveiled sometime soon. Uh, I think they're going to do it at the most recent Masters event, which is taking place in Madrid, which is in Spain. Uh, at some point over the next two weeks, I believe the actual finals is supposed to be this upcoming weekend. So you should stick around if you want to see more about the agent and so on. But today they unveiled a rather interesting piece of lore about the character, which is that Clove is non-binary. And I know what you're thinking, but book it. Who cares? And you're well within your right to ask that question. Um, and I think the best answer that I can give to you is people who relate. Everybody likes to see themselves in media. Everybody likes to believe that we can be our heroes and sometimes even see ourselves as the villain. So the best example that I can give of that is Spider-Man. When we all grew up, we all wanted to be Spider-Man. Everybody wanted to be Peter Parker swinging around saving the day. It's always nice to see yourself in media that's with somebody that looks like you, acts like you, talks like you, whatever, right? And over time, as demographics change, as people change, so on and so forth, you're going to start to notice that our heroes will change. What they look like will change. The way they act will change. The words they say, so on and so forth. And you start to see branches of, you know, a hero that was super iconic, and different iterations of them. So for example, Miles Morales. Miles was created because there are black people who like Spider-Man. And it's nice to have a hero that looks like you every so often, right? Another example, perfect example that I think of is the Green Lantern. I mean, you have Hal Jordan who is created way back when, and then, oh, what's his name? Isn't his name like John or something like that? I don't remember his name, give me one second. John Stewart is his name. You have you know, another Green Lantern named Jon Stewart. And there's plenty of other pieces of media that I can reference. Um, Tracer from Overwatch is a lesbian. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some people just want to see themselves in media and have somebody to relate to. And oftentimes it creates a greater bond between your fan base and your studio when you have when your fans have somebody to relate to. So basically the point of this video is just to say that this piece of news dropped about the agent and the internet, of course, did not have a great reaction to it. And plenty of creators had some, you know, nuanced things to say. Some others didn't. Some just said like the stereo, not want to say the stereotypical. Some other creators really just gave like the neutral stance on it or kind of just said W representation, which is cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple tweets that I thought were interesting. I'm going to give a little bit of a response to them. And then I'll give my opinion on it. So first up, we have this reaction to Clove, where this goober says that he's uninstalling. He says, okay, I'm uninstalling. It was a pleasure playing your game, but I can't take this anymore. Which I think is hilarious because I think the only other thing in the game that is LGBTQ, or the only characters that fall into that category, are Ray's and Killjoy. I can't really think of any other characters that are or would be. It's just not something that I guess I focus on. Maybe I'm just not going to ever notice because I'm kind of oblivious to that kind of stuff. He threatens to uninstall, not threatens, he says that he's uninstalling the game over this and says that he can't take it anymore. But I, I don't know, I think bro needs to, I think bro needs to get a handle on himself because that is just not, it's not, it's never that deep. It's never that serious. It's. Honestly, just, this actually brings up a really good point. I feel like this is one of those things where you're really not even going to notice it in the game because it's the same with Raising Killjoy where maybe I'm just, again, oblivious, but I never really think about the fact that they're gay or, well, I guess lesbian would be the proper term, that they're, I'm just going to say gay for each other, whatever, who cares. Anyways, I never think about the fact that they're gay for each other. I'd never notice it in any voice lines. I never really, the only time I ever notice it is when somebody has the banner icon for them, but that's it, you know? 
So the idea that he can't take this anymore, I, I think brother just had a bad Q session and like this was the final, the straw that broke the camel's back, if that makes any sense. So I don't know. I hope bro uh, finds what he's looking for though. Then you have this guy right here who says, I'm glad that I left this game five months ago over the unveiling that Clove is non-binary, which I think is ironic because he says that he left the game five months ago, but he still follows all the pages and things like that. And it's actually pretty funny because, brother, I don't think you ever left the game. I think you think you left the game, and that's okay. But I don't think you ever left the game if you're still here commenting on the new agents and keeping up with you know, the new news that's dropping and so on and so forth. Bro's actually locked in a box in a prison of his own making. But then again, when it comes to Valor, and I think we all are, I think we're all trapped. We're all addicted. We all want that next $35 skin and the next knife and the next cute wingman plushie and so on. So it's all right though, brother. You're going to get through it. I promise. It's okay. And so this guy says politics and games should never mix. And then the response was, pronouns have nothing to do with politics. Everyone has them. And that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair response. They really don't have anything to do with politics. I think it becomes politically charged when people kind of turn it into that kind of conversation. And so what I mean by that is when people go so far as to say, I've seen some reactions on the internet where people misgender others or will not use the proper pronouns because they just don't. And it becomes a thing where people will threaten hate crimes. I believe in Canada, there was actually a couple things that I saw where people were arrested because they weren't using the proper pronouns and it was considered a hate crime or some such or like an act of violence. I don't really remember, but I thought it was a little interesting. I'm going to see if I can find those articles and link them. But yeah, anyways, bro said politics and games should never mix. I don't think this is politically charged. I think they're just creating a character and decided to add just one character to the game. For people who care and I don't think there's anything wrong with that so I think this tweet actually raises a good point and that's why I'm including it um, basically he just lists off that this information is an inclusive representation and it isn't hurting anyone if this makes you angry you got some inner shit to work on and I've never understood I think he brings up a good point I've never understood people who freak out over this kind of thing because it's a video game it's not real like who cares it's like I said earlier in the video which is that people like to see themselves in media we like to see people who he, who we can relate to and so on. Now, I don't know if you couldn't tell, <laughs> I'm not African American. But I can relate to somebody like Miles Morales, not because of the way that he looks, but because of the way that he acts. I remember being 15, 16 years old and walking around with my fresh Jordans and having my headphones blasting and thinking that I look fresh to death personally, you know, when I was wearing my basketball jerseys and all that jazz, because I thought I looked, man, I thought that was styling. I think it's important to recognize that when you relate to a character, it's not always just on a physical level. Sometimes it's on an emotional level. Sometimes it's just in a, a personality wise, you know, sometimes it is something as simple as, you know, Hey, we use the same pronouns or anything like that. And he actually has a good couple of responses to people in the comments. So one of them was, okay, Mr. Therapist, tell me what I need to work on. And his response was, learn not to take everything personally. You'll be much happier with your friends, family, and surroundings with a little emoji. And I think this is actually a really good response because there are a lot of people out there really on both sides of this whole argument about pronouns, which I think is extremely weird, who need to learn not to take things so personally. It's not that deep. And, you know, it's actually hilarious that uh, I bring that up because in yesterday's video where I talked about the unknown in Dead by Daylight, I actually misgendered the voice actress one time and people were sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, somebody else said unfollowed and his response was, you have lost a customer ass response. It always reminds me of those fucking Karens who are like, I've been shopping here for 50 years and no longer because you didn't freaking cater to exactly what I said. Harumph. It's just really stupid when people are like that, man. Like, you do, this isn't a fucking airport. You don't have to announce that you're leaving. So this guy said, I love seeing representation because it makes the cringe people leave the game and that's a net positive. To an extent, that is awesome. But at the same time, you can't pretend that there aren't cringe people everywhere. The idea that you know, cringe people are only the people who leave the game over this is actually pretty, 
brain dead if you want my honest opinion on it i think that's just not accurate i think there are cringe people everywhere so but i mean it is relatively accurate to say that if you're leaving a video game because of digital character that is not real just so happens to not like just so happens to do something that you don't agree with is pretty interesting which is pretty wild to say because if you look at reyna in the game she's an actual fucking murderer she literally goes around and just kills people to take their life force so that she can give it to her sister and people don't find any issue with that but they find an issue with a you know a person being non-binary in the game i was about to say a girl anyways a person being non-binary in the game so it's very telling and so i'm going to use this last tweet to go ahead and kind of segment into my personal thoughts on the whole thing so this guy says literally doesn't matter but okay cool and there were a couple responses to it this is why everyone left overwatch which i don't know how that's relevant but okay uh if it doesn't matter to you why bother commenting uh it does to me yada 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 anyways all the that's kind of like an npc fucking fest underneath this but the point being is that it literally doesn't matter but okay cool um my personal thoughts on it are i don't care i it's like i said earlier in the video which is I truly believe this is just going to be one of those things like they did with Raze and Killjoy where we know that they act this certain way or that they have this certain thing about them, but it's not going to be like crammed down your throat where Raze and Killjoy, it's not like they're fucking making out at the beginning of every game, you know, like who cares? It, it's just a part of the game. I think representation is relatively cool. I mean, me personally, I have, you know, characters in the game that I think are cool. I mean, I'm Puerto Rican if you couldn't tell which you probably couldn't because I have relatively pale skin and blue eyes. And so, yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. Gecko's Puerto Rican. I think that's pretty awesome, dude. And it's nice to know that there kind of is somebody that I guess I can relate to in the media. Another person I can relate to is Brimstone. Brimstone's awesome. I love Brimstone. I love, I actually love everything about Brimstone. Brimstone is just that like stereotypical American soldier guy who's rough and tough and I especially love the fact that he's voiced by Steve Bloom. I fucking love Steve Bloom. I think he's one of the greatest. I think he's probably the greatest voice actor in the history of the world. I think he's fucking awesome. I, like, I'm not going to keep sucking his dick anyways. I just love Steve Bloom. Um, so, I mean, I have people that I can relate to in the game. And I think it's kind of cool that there are going to be people out there who now have somebody that they specifically relate to in the game. Not just because they're a girl. Not just because they have green hair. Not just because... I don't know, they're a murderer, if you can relate to a murderer. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I don't know. I think it's uh, just one of those things that is just going to happen in the game, and cool. It's nice that they included something like that for the people who do care. And maybe I'm not meant to care. Maybe I'm not meant to understand. Maybe I'm just meant to support. And I'm okay with that. So that's basically my thoughts on the whole thing. And I just wanted to go over some funny tweets, all that jazz. Um, if you appreciated it, I mean, likes and comments are always appreciated. If you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that too. But other than that, that's it. See ya.